Hi, I'm Jacqueline Gomes, registered dietitian for the AMP family of supermarkets. Today I'm going to be preparing what I call the Spicy Goddess Smoothie, one of my favorite smoothies for its rich antioxidant content. I've got bromelain coming from pineapple, which is known for its anti-inflammatory properties. You've got a kick in this smoothie from cayenne pepper, that's why I call it spicy. We've got superfoods in the form of kale and spinach, which are actually local here to the Northeast. And it's also a good source of protein because I'm using an America's Choice Greek yogurt. And if you know anything about Greek yogurt, you know it's a little bit thicker than regular yogurt and also has twice as much protein. So it'll help keep you fuller for a longer period of time. I'm just gonna be using a cup of the frozen pineapple. Again, uh, antioxidants are really important for great skin, hair and nails, as is protein. And that's one of the reasons why I'm using the Greek yogurt. I've got bananas. You can use a small whole banana. It's really up to you if you want to use a whole banana or a half. I'm just using a plain zero fat Greek yogurt, America's Choice, six ounce container. That gives it a nice creamy consistency. Now with kale, you want to use just the leaves of the kale and it comes off really very easily off the stem. The stem is very thick and it doesn't, in my opinion, doesn't really process too well. So you can just use about a handful of that and then also some fresh spinach. Spinach is pretty light, so I use about a handful of that too. So it's about equal to a cup. A little bit of water to make sure that everything processes smoothly. About a half a cup of that. And let's give it a spin. Just need to push it down a little bit. There we go. Looks like I need a little bit of water. And now is a good time to add your cayenne pepper. I'm just gonna use a dash, but it really is up to you on your heat preference. Everybody's tolerance for spicy foods is different. Now because you've got two greens in here, you wanna process it for about a minute or two to make sure everything comes out smooth. So let's give it a try. It's nice and cold. Now, if you didn't have time, let's say, to freeze your fruit, you can always use a few ice cubes and just use regular fresh fruit. So let's give this a go. Perfect. Not too spicy, but sweet all at the same time. It's a perfect combination. By the time you finish the smoothie, you'll feel spectacular. Thanks for joining me. I'm Jacqueline Gomes.